Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you body effect in MOSFET. To understand body effect in MOSFET, first I will be discussing about basics of body effect in MOSFET and then I will explain you change in threshold voltage with respect to body effect. So, let me discuss about basics of body effect in MOSFET. So, first of all, you need to know what is threshold voltage. The threshold voltage that is a minimum voltage that we apply in between gate and source terminal for a formation of inversion layer. See, threshold voltage that is a minimum voltage in between gate to source terminal. So, it is minimum VGS voltage to form inversion layer. And as if you have inversion layer in channel, then only there can be conduction in between source and drain. So, to have a conduction in between source and drain, at VGS, you will have to apply threshold voltage. So, threshold voltage, threshold voltage will define operation of MOSFET. If, if VGS is lower than threshold voltage, then MOSFET will stays in cutoff region. And as if VGS is equals to threshold voltage or as if VGS is greater than threshold voltage, then there will be formation of inversion layer. And after that only MOSFET can stays in linear region or MOSFET can stays in saturation region, right. So, threshold voltage will define operation of MOSFET and as if VGS is less than threshold voltage, then MOSFET will stays in cutoff region. Now, see here what I will explain you is, I will be going to explain you what will happen due to body effect. So, first you need to understand what is body effect. See, body is substrate over here. If you observe structure of MOSFET, see, so in this structure, see this P type substrate, that is a body of MOSFET. So with this P type substrate, this is substrate terminal and this terminal is also known as body terminal, right. So as if you apply some voltage at this body, then there is a possibility that threshold voltage at VGS that will change. See, to have operation, you will have to apply VGS greater than VTH, right. Now, as if you apply some potential at substrate or as if you apply some potential at body, then this VTH will change. How it will change? That I am going to explain you. But as if this VTS is changing, then there is a possibility that operational regions of MOSFET will change that effect is body effect. So, here due to voltage at substrate terminal or you can say due to voltage at body terminal, the threshold voltage of MOSFET changes and that is body effect. Now, I am going to explain you body effect with respect to energy band diagram. So, there are some case studies that I like to show you first and based on that, we will get to know how threshold voltage changes with respect to potential applied at substrate terminal or you can say potential applied at body terminal. To understand body effect, here I will be going to explain you energy band diagram by four different case studies by which you can easily understand how body effect changes threshold voltage. So, in first case, if you observe, see VSB voltage that is 0. What is VSB voltage? See VSB voltage that is a voltage in between source and body. So, VSB, let me note it down, VSB, that is, that is VS minus VB, right. And consider that this source terminal, source terminal at source terminal, we are already applying zero voltage. So, you can say VSB, that is minus VB voltage, Minus VB means minus of negative body voltage that you can say for this particular case, right. So, here VSB is 0 as well as VGB is 0. Means here voltage at gate, right, that is 0. And as I have told you, as if voltage at gate that is lower than threshold voltage, then there will be no formation of inversion layer over here at the junction of SiO2 and semiconductor. So, as if there is no inversion layer, drain to source current cannot flow and by energy band diagram let us try to understand that. See here we are having source, here we are having drain. 
and electrons are there at source side electrons are there at source side and these electrons are facing this energy resistance and because of this energy resistance these electrons cannot move in this direction right as there is no inversion layer over here and as if you want to understand that in form of conduction energy fermi energy intrinsic energy and valence energy then if you observe here fermi energy fermi energy that is this by blue color and intrinsic energy that is this by gray color and intrinsic to fermi energy that is q into phi f where phi f is fermi potential so this much resistance is there which doesn't allow flow of electrons in this direction right so here there is high resistance that you just consider right now and and what is threshold voltage so as per the basic definition threshold voltage let me note it down here threshold voltage threshold voltage that is vgs and that is happening when surface potential that is equals to 2 phi f right so that is threshold voltage vgs when surface potential that is 2 phi f right at that time you will be having vgs that is threshold voltage right now we are applying zero threshold voltage right so you can say high resistance that is there means there is no formation of inversion layer over here right now let us consider second scenario so in second scenario you see what we are doing is we are applying vsb is equals to zero means body voltage is equals to zero that you can say and vgb that is equals to vth means right now we are applying gate voltage that is equals to threshold voltage so as if you apply gate voltage is equals to threshold voltage what will happen there will be starting of inversion layer over here there will be starting of inversion layer over here in between source and drain and as if inversion layer is there then there is a possibility that there can be flow of current in between source and drain right now if you observe energy band then you see previously there was high resistance over here to these electrons and now there is no high resistance to these electrons right compared to this now there is no high resistance to electrons which are happening over here so if you apply drain to source voltage then there is a possibility of flow of electrons in this direction means current can flow in this direction from drain to source so for drain to source current at drain you need to apply voltage right now we are not discussing about how much voltage that we are applying over here we are just discussing about now there is less resistance to electrons as inversion layer is happening over here right why the reason is now at gate we are applying threshold voltage right and if you see this in form of energy band diagram then if you observe here this intrinsic energy now that is below by q phi f previously intrinsic energy that was above by q phi f so now how much change that is happening in surface potential so previously it was over here previously it was over here by q phi f previously it was above q above for me by q phi f now it is below for me by q phi f so in total you can say in total you can say in total you can say surface potential now we have applied it by twice of twice of phi f right twice of phi f and in terms of energy it is 2 into q into phi f right that is how uh, that is how energy gap that is getting shifted over here means now there is less resistance to electrons over here for a motion so what it means as if as if this intrinsic energy that goes down as if intrinsic energy that goes down means there is a initiation of inversion layer over here as well as you can say as if this in, this an, intrinsic energy that goes down then threshold voltage also decreases there can be two things that you can say see as if this intrinsic energy you see here it is above and here it is below for me so as if intrinsic energy that goes down then threshold voltage is decreasing that you can say and one more thing that you can say as if this goes down then there is a beginning of inversion layer in between source and drain which will allow flow of current right now in third case what we are doing is we are applying vsb is equals to negative and we are not applying any gate voltage you see so gate voltage that is zero that you can say 
and VSB that is negative. VSB, if it is negative, then what will happen? See, VSB that is Vs minus VB. So, you can say body voltage that is positive here. If VSB is negative, then you can say body voltage that is positive, right? So, here you can say body voltage that is positive. So, in case of body voltage, if it is posi positive, then you see this intrinsic energy that is going down. If it is getting shifted in this direction, what it means? Threshold voltage that will also decrease. As if threshold voltage decreases, then at lower voltage of gate, there will be formation of inversion layer over here. Right. Now, if you observe, we are taking VSB voltage that is positive. What it means? Base voltage will be negative. Right. Or you can say body voltage that is negative. Right. Body voltage that is negative as VSB is Vs minus VB. So, as if body voltage over here if it is negative then you see this intrinsic energy that is going towards up direction you see previously it was going over here with negative vsb means body voltage positive now if body voltage is negative this goes up as if it goes up then here whatever electrons are there at source side it will be facing high resistance over here means there is no formation of inversion layer and for a formation of inversion layer over here at gate terminal you will have to apply threshold voltage that is higher than normal threshold voltage so here we are increasing threshold voltage we are increasing threshold voltage right in short what we are doing is by applying some biasing at body we are changing threshold see at body if you apply positive voltage then threshold voltage will go down and at body, if you apply negative voltage, then threshold voltage will go up. But practically, how we apply voltage at body terminal? As per VSB biasing. So, VSB is Vs minus Vb. Usually, source is getting shorted in majority of circuit. Remember this. With N channel MOSFET, we connect this source terminal to ground in majority of cases. So, as if VSB as if VSB is negative means body voltage is positive and as if VSB voltage is positive then body voltage is negative right. So, as if body voltage is positive threshold voltage goes down and as if body voltage is negative threshold voltage will go up for this for this N channel MOSFET right. So, in that situation you see how threshold voltage changes. So, from this diagram easily you can understand you see previously here resistance was as per Q into phi F as per Fermi energy. But now as if you increase, as if you increase VSB by positive, you see what is happening? This resistance is increasing. Now it is not having Q into phi F, now it is having Q into phi F plus VSB, right? So if you talk about threshold voltage equation, then if you consider some imperfections, then flat band voltage that you need to consider, if it is not given flat band voltage that you need to consider as zero. So, threshold voltage is flat band voltage. This is there in, in case of imperfection, right? In perfection. So, if data is not given, then you, you just need to ignore this, right? Otherwise, you just take care this calculation in calculation for VTH calculation, right? Plus 2 phi f. 2 phi f means 2 into Fermi potential plus square root of 2 q epsilon si n a into 2 phi f plus v s b divided by c prime o x means capacitance of oxide layer right. So, here if you observe v s b voltage if you observe v s b voltage so that will change v t h. So, if you increase v, v s b voltage v t h will increase if you decrease v s b voltage then v t h will decrease and what is v s b voltage? You can say that is body voltage and based on body voltage threshold voltage changes right and as if threshold voltage changes then MOSFETs operational region will change. See MOSFETs operational region that pure that is purely based on threshold voltage as if VGS voltage as if this VGS voltage that is greater than ATH then only there is a formation of inversion layer over here otherwise there cannot be formation of inversion layer and as if there is no formation of inversion layer then MOSFET will stay in cutoff region only right. So, drain current equations 
that is also depending on substrate terminal voltage and substrate terminal voltage is also referred as body voltage and based on that only this effect is body effect i hope you have understood this still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video